I'm just going to show you a couple of slides in terms of helping tie our time up with a bow here. What a productive couple of days we have had. Thank you so much. These are the things we did. We talked about the characteristics of a good team. We explored some recent conversations and resources. We heard from Russ at Motorola about what they're doing over there for that peer-to-peer -peer manager uh, situation. We heard about what's going on at F5 from Kendall in terms of culture prompts and the, and the coaching culture there. We heard from Beth and Sonder. Um, we saw a, a textbook coaching session, which is always a joy to witness and did some good thinking and talking about how we are using PAR and content standard checklist numbers. We talked about techniques that are being used for promoting knowledge workers to publishers. We talked about what leaders can and should be doing to create a culture of coaching and building a leadership coaching program. So our stated goals here were to define what a culture of coaching might look like, which I really think we got down the path of doing in a way that I am excited to go harvest and see what we might turn into. Explore some implications for adaptive organizations so that just the idea of trust really being the cornerstone, I think is gonna stick with me and us for a long time, right? We have things documented about that already, but thinking about how we might communicate that going forward is an interesting, an interesting thing members y'all y'all members are so invited to connect in the slack channel and if you have notes or questions or observations about this meeting you can find the wiki page where we have captured all of these things so one of the ways that coaching is described in the coaching program that i am enrolled in is it's really about personal change management it's a technique to really understand and to work through personal change management and so I think that I might be proposing that a culture of coaching is maybe a culture in which we are consistently supporting each other through change. And I think that we do that with those five coaching skills, right? We do that by listening and inquiring and appreciating and reflecting and being advocates for each other. I think that is an idea that I would like to explore further in terms of how much we talk about some of these uh, methodologies being really being change management based or change management heavy and making the tie between we can do this at a system level from a change management standpoint, and then we can support you on a personal level with a coaching program is a really powerful connection for me.